everywhere, in a box. Legendary was the Black Rock Desert, where the citizens of Black Rock City gathered from around the world to celebrate that which we know as Burning Man, radical thinking, civic responsibility, participation in community. Here among artists cohabitating in the dust and the heat of the Black Rock Desert were born three organizations to help serve our world. The Black Rock Arts Foundation, now part of Burning Man Arts, Burners Without Borders, and Black Rock Solar. Art is something that we all do, at all different levels, whether it's just putting on your makeup in the morning or how you wear your hair. People can engage with it, it's interactive. Somebody will see me reading something, you go, oh, is that Burning Man? And then you could talk about it. I love seeing the new generation, the younger people coming out here. All of these other teams from various regions of the world are coming together to do this. As long as we're true to allowing people to interpret it how they want to and also stay real to it and not morph it into something else. We're really talking about human nature. We're not talking about the constructs of where we're born or what government we live in. So I think this can go anywhere. Any way that somebody can become empowered by what they're doing is so incredibly important. It actually helps the world become a better place. What happens when you connect creative minds to today's most staggering problems? Extraordinary solutions emerge. We bring you this special message from the Burning Man Project. The event is really a smaller portion of what the project can do. So we expect that the event will be an element of what we do in the project, and the, and the project will grow into other areas, Borders Without Borders, doing civically minded things around the planet, using interactive art as a catalyst for civic engagement. So we'll see more and more opportunities to explore how the tenant principles can manifest them, and this is just one of them. The real intent of the project is to engage people in a way that a nonprofit does. We know how to do this very well, and people are replicating it around the world regularly now. This is now an international city, and you can create your own village within it, just as you can, you know, attach yourself to a neighborhood within a, within a great city. It's really like being a good neighbor and being a good person on the planet, and it will be different everywhere we go because people are different and countries are different. I think it's important to take gambles because otherwise, how do you create change? How do you try something new? We take groups of students, we take them on field trips to visit our solar arrays. One of the most important things that we do is we build solar at schools and hospitals. In 2007, the theme of Burning Man was the Green Man, and that's when Black Rock Solar got started out here on the playa with a group of people who wanted to put a solar array on site to help power the man. They wanted to donate and give that renewable energy um, to a community. And so we started with the community closest to the Black Rock Desert and closest to Burning Man, that's Gerlach. That array got moved to the school system in Gerlach. Throughout the next 25 years or so, we'll be able to have renewable energy in their backyard. It makes it part of the now instead of part of the maybe future. Our roots are in building solar arrays, and we have now built 62 solar arrays all around Nevada that include hospitals, churches, schools, other nonprofit organizations, and tribes. So a big part of Black Rock Solar is actually building renewable energy and getting solar power on the ground to make a difference in climate change, energy independence, economic sustainability. We have an education program. We take groups of students, we take them on field trips to visit our solar arrays. We talk to them about solar, we talk to them about climate change and renewable energy, but we also show them what the nonprofit organization is doing in their community so that they um, can understand volunteerism and community benefits. So we'll take students to the care chest in Reno and they will learn that that organization donates free medical equipment and supplies to community members while they get to see a solar array. And most kids have never seen a solar array. We take students to the Pyramid Lake Paiute Tribe Museum and Visitor Center. So they learn about Paiute culture and history and they get to see the array that we built that's designed in the shape of an arrowhead. 
few years ago, BlackRock Solar commissioned a project, Solar Sunflowers, that have solar cells that power the petals. And I think tangible, beautiful art like that gets people talking in a way that they wouldn't normally. I love the intersection of art and science. I think it's really important to let people think about a project or an opportunity or an idea in the way that feels best to them. Tapping into the interests that exist and finding creative ways to build solar. That's a great thing about Burning Man is you have these conversations that are sparked by the creativity and the people that are here. Community, creativity, celebration. Burners Without Borders is a grassroots organization that connects real-time challenges to real-world solutions, tackling problems by applying the ingenuity of our community. Burners Without Borders' main focus here now is really to spearhead uh, creative long-term solutions. We arrived here and we had individual ideas, actually. We wanted to um, not only help one family, but help the community. The kindergarten, they had nothing to play with. There was just children playing in the dust. We had a lot of ideas. We built a swing, we built a sandbox. They never saw a sandbox before. I don't know if I've ever been that happy before. It was amazing. I felt so absolutely happy and relieved after three weeks working on this project. You could go to a single person's house and help them rebuild. Some of them are more like community oriented where you're building a medical center or school. Biodiesel is so important because we really do need to focus on a more sustainable solution to long-term disaster reconstruction. Getting the community involved in what we're doing, letting them know, picking up from local restaurants, um, collecting a bunch of oil and then putting it in the reactor, washing it. We're having the potential of internally earning for Pisco Sempreteras $1,600 a month. What you have is a core group of people that are dedicated to coming here because they want to make change in their life and change in the community here. One of the reasons why I've been here so long is the people that you meet here. It also creates the most amazing human connections that I, I could ever fathom. Everyone gathers around for a meal every night, so it's like a family in that sense. So at any time, you can be sitting with people from 14 different countries. Not only am I helping the community around myself, and I feel somewhat selfish in saying this, but I feel like I'm bettering myself as a person in the process too. One of the first things that happened to me when I got here, before I'd done any volunteering, was I had like some locals come up and hug me and say thank you before I'd even done anything. It's a really good attitude. Everyone here is super friendly, super grateful. In reality, they have a lot of love. They do it with such enthusiasm that all my people are in contact with them to continue working with them. And we are all a family. Thank you for coming to help us. Because it's something so beautiful, despite the fact that you come from so far. And they are showing here a lot of people that with union they work. They work well. They work well. So one thing that we really have tried to pride ourselves in, and not just empowerment, but just being the international friends of people here. And you know, one way we do that is a weekly intercambio. It can be English classes, it can be another language class, or it can be fire spinning, or any sort of fun cultural thing that you're bringing to the table. And so you get to learn a lot about the people here and the needs that they have and you learn about how an organization like this can go about trying to make these people's life better. It's about much more than just rebuilding houses. It's about, you know, rebuilding a community. So, in any way that we can mobilize the Burning Man community and skilled labor, you know, across the board. With love in our hearts and power in our minds, anything is possible. Burners Without Borders, a portal of participation taking care of the world around us. And yet, there's more. Burning Man Arts, like pharaohs of our time, brings large-scale art into our cities. On a quest to beautify our precious world, it unites our communities with an artful touch. We want to support and promote artists beyond the desert. There's a unique opportunity out here at Burning Man to be able to interact with artwork that you don't get in museums or galleries or even in most public art. And we want to support not only Burning Man artists, but artists who create artwork 
like the artwork that we like here on the Playa, and that's usually community-based. We give um, basically sort of micro-grants to um, projects. We love to give money to new projects, things that haven't um, been tried before, so first-time artists and things like that. And with that seed money, we've seen like huge implications, huge changes, like um, $500 to create an urn for a relatively small parade that turns into a point of national pride for a city, and it's grown over time when the whole city's rallied behind it. For $500, that was well-spent money. You have to respect the powers that be. Every city is all about manageability and liability. Fire is interesting, it's dangerous. It got to be approached with a lot of safety involved. And that was a huge part of the process of, okay, this is how we're going to have to work together. Beautiful thing. Then we also have our large-scale civic art projects where we take um, art potentially from here or art from anywhere, big art, and put it into civic environments um, in a way to sort of shake up the environment and to engage people in a different way. We take pieces like the rocket ship, uh, the Reagan Gothic rocket ship that Five Town Crane made for Burning Man 2009. We put that in San Francisco for almost three years. And it was amazing to see how much people love that and want to interact with it, from children to old Korean vets. I met these guys who were in the Korean War and they were just giddy because they remember the Flash Gordon days. And, you know, it's a sense of, of wonderment, it's like being a kid again. Those are the main things we're doing, and they're just really an outreach to, again, um, sort of spark civic-mindedness in people's hearts. I think the biggest success is when there's another group of individuals out there that can see what we're doing, and then they do it in their communities. That's the biggest success for us. have an event here at Everywhere where community members from all around the world can come and kind of share what they're doing out in the world. That line is, is eradicated between the person who's actually interacting with the piece as well as the artist. So the artist not only helps to influence the culture around him, he's part of it and he's helping to make that grow. And that's the spirit of Everywhere is letting people share and learning about what other people are doing so they can be, can be inspired and go back to their communities and do that same thing. Even if it's not all the way there, you're going to go pretty far. That's what we did here and we're really happy about it. Failure is just another step towards getting it right. It's is Burning Man. Variety is the spice of life and diversity is the key, the key in, this, in this project for sure. I think it's even more amazing because now instead of just participating and consuming Burning Man, I'm creating Burning Man. We had you know, a, a flagship array, a project that got some attention and got people inspired and motivated. I think that spreads out into the community and people will find a place for their passion. That part can be duplicated everywhere and I think that's what makes Burning Man so great is there are seeds being planted all over the playa 24 hours a day. Everything's different every year. It's a cultural shift. We support artists literally all over the world. It attracts new people, students and teachers. I definitely believe that the newbies are, you know, critical. And some people are more scientific minded and some are more art. Some have a balance. And they're the people that are going to have that transformative experience. That's what we're all after. So that's sort of, yeah, it's the heart and soul of it. I think we've done a great job of that grassroots activism. And we work with so many nonprofits and tribes all across the state. We have a good reputation and people want to work with us. Black Rock Solar. Burning Man Arts. Burners without borders. Together, a mighty arm of the Burning Man Project. Radical. Transformative and worldwide. Each of us has a unique gift to give, and you, noble citizen, are invited. Join us in the spirit of creativity, community, and celebration. Help us solve the challenges of the 21st century. We will be waiting for you at Everywhere in a Box. So what can you do to get involved? The Burning Man Regional Network supports communities all over the world who are bringing the principles and ethos of Burning Man to their own cities through participatory events, projects, and experiences. The Regionals team works year-round with Burning Man Arts, Education, and Burners Without Borders to help you bring the playa to the planet.